Welcome to Real Civil YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to uh, find the lateral stiffness of the staging. If you remember this problem, I have solved manually, and in that stiffness was given, and that stiffness was uh, solved by software means direct value was taken. Now we'll see how to find the lateral stiffness of the staging. Simplified model means a line diagram has been created in this and we can uh, first we have to create this in our StatPro software okay here you can take the plane structure because we want to work in two dimensional okay uh, so here you can give any name go to next and just click on finish now just wait so that system gets load loaded okay now uh, if you see the distance is 3430 in millimeter so we can select we can create the node then just copy paste it at 3.430 you can just click on okay now these two nodes uh, we can do the translation repeat as per this okay so i will do translation repeat in y direction and spacing is 1.775 i'll just cross check it yes it is okay i want link steps okay now here we will uh, add one beam now this entire system i want to re uh, replicate uh, three times 2980 so here we can write 2.980 number of steps would be three and i want the link step command also and that is in y direction that is very important okay now again you can select this go for translation repeat in y direction this time 2.985 let me check yes the last is 2.985 you can link step click on ok now last step is 1480 this 1480 is because that was the cg point and we want to apply the load at the cg and we want to see the stiffness stiffness means whatever load we are applying divided by the deflection so we will create this 1.480 just let me cross check it yes it is correct link step okay now you can go to properties uh, here you can see the property column 450 bracing 300 by 450 so first of all 450 add then rectangle here depth is 0.450 width is 0.300 add close now we will just assign this so select our columns by parallel to y axis now just assign s yes. now select this to all the beams so select beam parallel to x assign s yes. now go to support create one fixed support and assign that fixed support to our nodes okay in load definition you have to create Uh, one dead load you can give any name basically now here uh, we give any arbitrary load you can give any load want to apply the want to apply at node in x direction 5 kN add and close now select both the nodes by node cursor at the top and just assign this particular load okay here you can see the load have been applied now if you see in this 
uh, example uh, we have the stiffness of 3030 kilonewton per meter total 10 kilonewton was the load applied we have also applied the 10 kilonewton you can apply any load because we are interested in the stiffness you can just simply divide load applied load divided by displacement that means here 10 kilonewton is the load you have to divide it by whatever displacement you are getting right now in material i will just uh, check yes compressive strength was 20 we can click on ok another thing is here i want density of concrete to be uh, let me check the density just a minute I will just close it for a second okay here density is 25 kilonewton per m cube okay no problem we can go and assign this 25 here density okay now uh, go to analyze before that command analysis perform analysis okay now analyze run analyze Now go to post processing mode. Now we are interested in the deflection in the x direction. So go to displacement tab and here we want to see the displacement. Here you can see the displacement is 3.864. Okay. Uh, means total load was 10 kilonewton 5 kilonewton at this node and 5 kilonewton at this node so total load was 10 kilonewton and the horizontal displacement was 3.864 okay so here you can just divide 10 kilonewton by 3.864 here it is in millimeter you can convert as you want and uh, we have created only one frame here you can see there are two frames that's why whatever stiffness you are getting you can multiply it by two in that example it was 30 or we can say 3.3 millimeter but here it is 3.86 the reason because this upper part is of water tank and the stiffness of the water tank is more okay so you have to assign this by a more rigid member so that that deflection can get reduced okay that is the only thing you can do the modification so that you can go close to the results okay so this is the video you can try on your own okay you can watch our other videos also like stad pro e tab is there manual analysis site videos are also there Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Please watch, share, subscribe Real Civil YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.